find that you're using the phone now as your daily driver, or do you consider yourself a pixel user? It's a good question. I think I'm going to use. Yep, that's Google CEO Sundar Pichai. I had the awesome opportunity after Google I.O. to sit down with them and ask him a few questions. Okay, well first I would like to thank you for taking the time to sit with me today and chat about things. Oh, well thank you for <laughs> coming down and being at Google I.O. Great thank to have you. you. Thank you. And speaking of Google I.O., I know this is the first one in maybe about four years um, where it's at full capacity. How did it feel to have everyone here today? Oh, it's so nice. I always... Uh, love doing it on stage at Shoreline with an audience. Yes. Maybe for a second or two, I can imagine I'm a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, idea. <laughs> because I've come here for uh, concerts before, but you know, but it's nice. It's always nice to do it in front of a live audience. You can feel the energy yes. back and forth. And uh, so lo love being back to normal. Do you find that you still get nervous? Uh, or if you ever did get nervous? Not, not nervous, but I'm always worried that everything goes well and we got everything right. And so there is the usual, what I would call anticipation of having worked on something and putting it out, but not nervous about coming out and talking to people. Yeah, that's fun for me. So speaking of uh, the keynote and some of the things that were announced today, I know there was a lot of emphasis on AI. And I'm just curious to know, like, what are some use case scenarios that you find that you used AI the most in your personal life day to day? A lot of what we showed today, I'm really getting warming up to in Gmail when I type. You know, there are times when you're writing an important email, like you're uh, writing to your kids or your parents or your friends. But then there are these lot of these emails which you have to send and like just getting it started so nice to do. In Google Docs, you're trying to write something, just getting suggestions back, all that has been uh, amazing. But I've been testing our new search generative experience. To me, that's been the best thing so far because you can really ask new types of queries, complex queries, and you get back amazing information. And so, you know, that's been exciting to try as well. I can agree with that. I know I was really excited with the announcement of Magic Editor. Yeah. And just seeing how quickly and easily the woman, when she was in front of the waterfall, was just shifted to the other side right, yeah. like that literally made my jaw yeah. drop <laughs> so i was super amazed at that hopefully it saves some of the lines when people are waiting in a place to get selfies and you're like in, in tourist spots yes. hopefully it saves that you know i use magic eraser a lot mm -hmm. on on photos you know magic editor really takes it a next step further and so it really allows people to express themselves make the picture better and and we're just getting started so you know I, I love putting more power in the hands of people to do amazing things and that's what this is about yes definitely empower them and make life a little easier simpler yeah. by giving some time back that's right would you say there was a device today that was announced that you were most excited about to reveal because i know there were three correct there were three yes. i leave the job to you all <laughs> I'm not going to be critical of any of them, but you know they all serve very different things. Obviously, the phone Pixel 7a, you know, it's a really amazing phone at that price point, and you know, so I'm excited by it. The tablet is near and dear to me because of the novel way of making this tablet with a docking station. So you can leave it on in the context of your home, being able to take it and come back and put it. I think it's innovative, it's new and different, and so I'm, I'm excited at that direction. But I'm also very excited at the Fold because, you know, Fold is for people who want to look ahead to the future and live that. So I've been using it a lot and, you know, it's definitely uh, for the first year product has gotten thinner enough that I can carry it. The front screen is like a real phone. The tabletop mode is my favorite feature and working multitasking so I've been loving using it. I could see why definitely I actually got a little bit of hands-on time with the phone today yeah. and with you talking about the form factor that is something that I like instantly noticed that I instantly loved as well because it's more wide than narrow mm -hmm. so it feels more like it's not a foldable phone but then That's I have right. the option to open it up and expand upon what I'm looking at so I could definitely see it as my daily driver. You yeah know? No, you're you're right I think for me to that the fact when it's closed, yes. it's almost like my phone. And it's, you know, I'm not like, well, I'm making a trade-off for a foldable phone. That was very important, so. With you saying that, do you find that you're using the phone now as your daily driver? Or would you consider yourself a Pixel user? It's a good question. Um, I think I'm going to use, part of it is we hadn't released the Fold, so I wasn't carrying with me everywhere. But now I think increasingly I'll probably might switch to the Fold for a lot of my use cases. So I'm, I'm debating, you should ask me in a month. <laughs> See if the answer changes, yeah. but yeah, I'd have to do that. So, I guess in time, yeah, we'll have that time, answer. That's yeah. right. Also, in talking about the Fold, and something that I really like that Google pushes is personalization. I know for me, when I first get a phone, one thing I instantly change is probably like the wallpaper. Is there something that you typically find that you go 
go-to first to personalize your phone. For me, it's about making sure the layout of all the stuff I need is exactly where it is. But I care about wallpapers too. Yeah. I like live wallpapers. So for me, I, you know, I get bored if it's the same thing. I used to put pictures, but I don't like all the icons on top of my yes. pictures. So my, somehow I never enjoyed that. But I like some live wa wallpapers of nature. That's what kind of works for me. So do you also find that you use now the emoji wallpaper or has AI created a wallpaper for you? I've been testing it, <laughs> uh, you know, but I'm going to switch to that pretty soon. All right, because I, I really like the feature where after you add the emojis, you can actually touch them and they'll respond. So it's little things like that. That's just kind of like a wow moment, especially. I know for me, at least. That's the whole point of that. That, uh, uh, expressiveness the team is focused on, uh, letting people find what works for them and what gives them joy. So I'm excited for it. Yes, the little touches there make a huge yeah. difference. Good time. Yes. Green bubble versus blue bubbles. Something that I really like that Google is doing is it seems like it's trying to help bridge that divide that has been created there. Could you expand on like what users can expect with RCS coming to the market, the experience, things they should be excited for? The thing I'm hoping is as users, everyone uses messaging, text messaging, right? And I think with RCS, it's things just work. You know, it should work regardless of the type of phone someone else has. And so that's the goal. But we are bringing all the capabilities of a advanced messaging system with encryption and so all we want people to think about is just talking to their loved ones or yes. you know not worry about uh, what type of bubble it is but hopefully one step of the way yeah yes i agree with that i'm looking forward to seeing it come to market and just what that would look like in terms of the interface and how you communicate and seeing if there still is a debate after that, you know, if there'll be any conversations surrounding those things. So with AI, I know this brought about a lot of cool features and things to get excited about. What would you say is one of the features that it's brought to the market that you've been most excited to announce or see, or that was like a wow moment for you? You know, it's been a while I, uh, since I routinely programmed or something like that, but watching the capabilities of AI to be a coding assistant, I mean, it's just incredible fact that you can write large chunks, you can use it as a companion to debug, you can collaborate with other people. I know it's technical, but you know, for developers, I think it's like a game changer, I think. And so, you know, BARD has gotten, based on Palm 2, has gotten so much better at coding and like, you know, in over 20 languages. And so I was excited to show that today. So I was excited to see just how it has expanded in terms of like the features that it offers and things. That's right. And with you speaking about BARD, when it comes to chat-based AI, what would you say Google is doing or might have as a standout feature amongst the competition in the market today? One of the things you saw today was we are integrating it with other products you love. If you ask it to write an email, you can send it to Gmail. You can ask it to create a, a spreadsheet and then it's there in Google Sheets. Or if you're searching for something and you need images, all that is built in. Yes. Google Maps is built in Google Images. And then we are bringing third parties too. So you can create a shopping list and just buy it in Instacart, right? And so I think that that kind of like getting other tools and services and including Google's services which people use a lot I think I think this is important as well. Yeah, I like that. It definitely makes the options a little bit more endless That's right. when everyone can kind of come together and just take it to that next level of feature sets for everyone to enjoy. Well, I really want to thank you for your time today and sitting down and chatting with me and sharing some of your thoughts from the keynote and features that you like. Actually, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming down. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Take care. Right, you too. Bye. Thanks. All right. Thanks for making it.